Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can design a dress stand in Kitchia V5. In this whole tutorial series I'll be showing you step by step how you can design each parts of these uh, different parts of the uh, dress holder. And we are in the second part of our tutorial so let's just get back to the work file which we are working on and we have this design over here. Now the next thing what you got to do is you need to select the uh, you need to make sure that you are in the product mode and go to insert new part and create a new part under this product click on yes and here you can go for properties and here you can name your next part so you can put the name as base and put the same name on both the files just click on OK and once you have created this particular part under the product you will be still under the product mode so you can expand the tree and get back to the part design workbench and then you can click on the sketch and select the XY plane now once you're on the XY plane you need to create the base so select the circle and click on the center point and drag a circle so according to uh, what I have whatever this design what you see is what I created by seeing a, uh, a dress stand which is very near to me so I have put some dimensions which I haven't measured but just by seeing I've put the dimension so I'm gonna insert the same dimension here so if you have got some kind of dress stand or something nearby you could also do something like that so see here I have just dragged and uh, I've, I've put a you know uh, very uh, assumptive uh, size for this but still it is almost near to whatever I'm gonna input over here it's 0.3 so 0.3 is the diameter outside and click on the pad and give 0 0.02 which is already there so this is a size obviously if you give some 0.5 it would be, would be uh, you know uh, really big so it's better if you uh, you know develop such kind of talent that you can see the design and do it even if you don't have a proper dimension for it and now you know over th on this one you have a kind of rim so let's just create that using a shaft command you could uh, create that in a different uh, as a different part but it's not really required because you don't really have to move that uh, so there's no point in uh, making it in a different part. Now let's put a axis here and select this circle and select this bottom circle and project it to 3D and select that line and make it dotted. Now again make the plane normal now you can I have created this particular projection so that I get this curvature over here because obviously I cannot select this line here because it's not selectable now select the profile tool and just sketch a profile using solid lines which would uh, really represent you could hold down the shift key if you don't want automatic dimension to appear you've closed it now in order to you can just oh my goodness control Z select this line and this one go for coincidence now use this and just bring all this 
a little closer. Will be sufficient. Now you can just come out of the sketch and uh, select this particular sketch. Go for shaft and oh, oh, something has gone wrong there. There is something which, all right, there's nothing wrong in that. You can just uh, select the shaft and in the axis you can just select the axis that's it now that creates the rim and let's see how we can proceed with the further parts of our dress stand and if you have any doubt on this particular part of a tutorial please comment below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you thank you so much for watching and stay tuned